Oh boy, I just got my box from scale tree. What is this? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh god, I hope it's not what I think it is. Um. Oh no. Oh, propaganda. Perfectly sized box. I can't get this thing out of here. Oh, okay. Whew. All right, all right. And and just to double check. Oh, okay. All right. It's all good. Hello, everyone. Here's a new review. Today I bring to you the Scale Trains EMD. 40-2 The future of the EMD SD40-2 family and HO scale is here and it's calling card says scale trains Now before I feed too much into the hype I just want to let you all know that I've personally been pretty excited for this model to come out so it's here and here's a comparative review Out of the box the scale trains SD40-2 looks excellent my examples of the models exhibiting crisp lines, finely printed warning decals, and even down to the ownership plate found on the rear flanks of the sills. However, not everything is peachy and ready to go. I found on one of my models some excess CA visible on the walkways, and on both examples, the handrails having a bit of flash and vertical railings not being quite... vertical. These issues are easily solved by a bit of weathering, some sanding, and a low heat source being applied to the fine Celcon hand railings and bending them back in place. Other details found on both of my models are prototype matched beacon types and in locations, and actually dimensionally accurate Leslie RS3K rather than it being an RS3L, lift rings, sectional walkway tread and grabs, crisp details on the hood with great relief like latches, hinges, and non-functional walkway lights. These even have the small welds lengthways between the sill and blower ducting on the fireman's side. A detail found only in brass. The locomotives I've ordered both came with Loksound version 4 21 MTC decoders mated to Scale Train's own motherboard and come loaded with features, including prototypically bright LED lighting for the headlights, number boards, class lights, and beacons. The class lights are a feature first found on Bowser's GMDD SD40 2 and are a welcome sight on the EMD models as well. From factory, the beacons were programmed to the correct setting per type. A programmable change that I've made was unlinking the number board lights from the engine sounds function 8. In prototype, number boards are to be lit on the identifying locomotive of a train, so I've set these to be manually controlled on another function. The engine sounds by default are their version 2 files offered by Loksound coming with their RS3K sound and a bronze bell. These series of SD40-2s in prototype would have come with steel bells, but since they are version 4 decoders, I've changed both locomotives to custom files. The Scale Trains SD40-2s are absolute brutes. My pair pulled the shown 53 car train around the North Metro Model Railroad Club's layout at ease on their own. A single model will pull about 28 of those cars around the layout's varying grades without stalling. The drives of these models are extremely strong, but the gearing isn't slow to develop the torque that they have, it's the motor. They will cruise too. The slow speed without having configured the back EMF sensing is incredibly slow, and should you turn the sound off, you'd hardly know they're around on your layout. A comparison to Atherin's newest RTR run of the BNSD40-2 isn't exactly fair to Atherin, but it's all I really have on hand, as I never purchased the Intermountain model due to their weight issues. The Scale Train's model overall is more refined, showing underframe detail only seen on modeler super detailed models such as traction motor leads, air piping, and drain valves, and even the sander lines. The rooftop mounted fans are scaled better, and the fact that it has LEDs is almost enough of a reason to purchase the Scale Trains over an RTR alone. When stacked against an Overland SD40-2, it stands its ground well. The brass has some things like the truck relief and lack of visible pickup wipers, 
but overall the scale trains model has better relief on the hood details, fans, and actually has more underframe wiring and details than my brass model. In conclusion, overall I would highly recommend purchasing the newest entry to the abundant SD4-2 market. It's the best you'll ever find for BN, and I can only hope that they make more BN runs in the future diversifying the fleets with more non-ditch light, strobe light equipped, or white face models. Thanks for watching. Yeah.